Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel, welcome back. Today we're gonna be reviewing episode two of Haikyuu season three and still going strong, still going real strong, so let's talk about it. So in this episode, we got to learn a little more about why they're having such a hard time just trying to deal with Ushijima. We find out that he is actually left-handed, so everything he does is pretty much different to what they usually have to deal with. Like his spin is different, like the timing they have to block him is different, the way they receive him is different, like everything is different. And that's one of the, like, the main things, well, Obviously he's just like a huge powerhouse as well, but like that's another thing that's just added on to like the greatness about him. So it's like, good luck with that. So we see them kind of have a hard time trying to settle down their nerves and then Mama Suga, love him so much, is like, guys, calm down. And he has this whole little angry freak out at them and it was the greatest thing ever. And like the ref kind of glared at him and Suga was like, dang it, he's glaring at me. And you're like, oh Suga. and like. Totally, that helped them get into the mood. They're like, oh no, Suga. Suga's angry at us. And then they kind of got back into serious mode. Kageyama and Nishinoya do not need to be reminded of this. They are both in the same mental state as they usually are. We see Nishinoya last episode just like immediately catch on to the fact that Ushijima is a left-handed player. And Kageyama's just... Kageyama, he, at one point he even says like, nothing is more scarier than Oikawa, so like, this is totally fine for me. But we do see that Nishinoya does have trouble receiving Ushijima's um, spikes, and we see that he tells Asahi and Daichi like, give me three, just give me three and I'll have it ready to go. And guess what guys, he does, Nishinoya, love him, one of my best boys, he just, I love him so much. I think it is when Ushijima is serving. Is it when he's serving? I don't know. But anyways, Nishinoya finally gets it. He gets the receive. It goes up and everyone's like, yay, yay, all the happiness. Yes, Nishinoya, because Nishinoya is a huge part of their defense and like he really is what they kind of made their plan around. They made it so that their blockers would kind of push Ushijima to a place where Nishinoya would always be and that's why it was really important and Nishinoya figured it out so everyone is happy. They do still have a lot of trouble kind of getting their momentum during the first set. Is that what it's called? Ugh, actual sports terms. But they actually do end up losing the first set which kind of sucks but we do see a little, a little interesting part about Suki and while well, Suki's kind of having this like internal struggle where he's like he, he knows what he needs to do to stop Ushijima and one point he blocks him and I'm like <gasps> Yes, Suki, yeah! But like he, it's not like a full block, he hits his fingers and they, and Ushijima ends up still getting a point, but Suki like recognizes the fact, he's like, did I, did I like wimp out last minute? Like what, what, what happened there? And even Suki's older brother is like, Suki like knows what to do and he kind of compliments him in like this like backhanded way, but he compliments him and you're like, Suki, I have high hopes for you. I want you to do your best, you can do it. Because uh, 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 you can see the like that Suki is driven and like he wants to do good and you, nah, it's so frustrating because you're like Suki, you can do it. I believe in you, but like he doesn't necessarily believe in himself. Well, he does, but he's like he believes more in like the other person than himself, if that makes sense. It also gets pretty interesting because we see Ushijima have a little flashback to Hinata being all like, "I'm Hinata from the concrete. I'm gonna beat you and get to nationals." And we have this little moment where Ushijima doesn't usually receive, but he actually decides to receive one of Hinata's spikes. And you're like, oh snap, something's going on. And Tendo being Tendo. I, I just, I love him so much. Is that how you say his name? Tendo? Tendo? He just kind of is like, Ushijima, like, what's up with you and, like, number 10? Do you guys know each other? And Ushijima kind of explains how they met and stuff. And then Tendo asks, like, oh, do you like him or something like that? And Ushijima's like, no, I don't like him. I hate when people are confident with no basis on whatever. Like, when they're confident for no reason is pretty much what he's saying. And you're like, oh snap. Like, Hinata deserves to be confident, but also you don't think he deserves to be confident. Also, you don't like him. So his team, like, recognizes that fact that this is going to be an interesting game, especially Tendo. Tendo's like, 
oh, things are gonna get interesting now. And like we see by the end of the episode. I'm so excited because Tendo is like right now like one of my like new, like one of the characters that I'm like really looking forward to seeing more of and he seems really interesting because so far he's just seemed like a joker. He's kind of just there joking around, being a troll, whatever. And then by the end of the episode, Hinata is about to spike and then Tendo just appears out of nowhere blocked him and was like if you want to beat Ushijima you're gonna have to beat me first and you're like oh snap things are happening oh yes so I'm excited to see more of him because this seems like things are gonna get interesting in this episode we see a lot more well we see like some things of Karasuna like we see like Nishinoya being awesome we see Suki kind of working up to being awesome and we see them kind of do their thing attack wise We don't really see anything super amazing. All we've really seen so far is Ushijima Attacking and him doing his thing and that's how they lost the first set. Ushijima got more He got 11 points out of the first set like that's almost half so we kind of see that He, he is doing his thing and Karasuno is they're, they're working up to it. They're getting there So I'm excited to see more of Karasuno actually attacking and doing their thing but this episode was nice because we got to see them kind of figure out the whole left-handed issue we see Nishinoya obviously figure out the receive for the most part so we're seeing them build up momentum and seeing them get into what they need to do for this game and into the mindset and into a plan a strategy to beat Shira Torizawa but yeah another solid episode I, I just can't with this show because Every week I'm like, I need to watch the next one right away and then I end up just re-watching the same one like 10 times and I'm like, this isn't doing it for me, I need to watch the next episode. So that's my only complaint is that I immediately want to watch the next episode and that's why I hate watching shows like this week to week. But I also can't not do that because it's just gonna get spoiled for me on Twitter. So I have to watch it week to week and it kills me because I'm a very impatient person. I have nothing else to say about this episode except that it was awesome and we're building up momentum. We're in the second set out of five. I don't know how many they need to win, I'm assuming three. Three out of the five, that makes sense. So we'll see what happens, let's see if Karasuna gets their wind, let's see if they can do the things, let's see if they can fight back, and let's see what Tendo has to offer, let's see what he's gonna do to create a wall for Karasuno to climb over what that's pretty much the end of my review i hope you guys liked it if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching i make a bunch of videos a week and bye also i don't know if you heard about this but i would just like to say a little rest in peace to tanaka kazunari who was actually the voice actor of coach ukai and he actually recently passed away from a hemorrhage from his brain stem so i just would like to quickly say rest in peace